Kansas City. Travis, you're on the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the reason that people like that wiener dude run for office is because they love to be called governor or senator or whatever the uh, title of the office they're running for is. So you're saying because he is in, in inside himself, he is so broken, he's so messed up sexually, that if they call him Mayor Wiener, he will feel that he's a sound, he will a sound of mind and body, that he has a title? Maybe I don't know. But I don't know the man's psychological makeup, but I mean, when you're talking about why people vote for people like that, it's the same mentality you see these people that get on and share their intimate thoughts on Facebook like it's their damn dear diary on the internet or whatever. Yes, I hear you. But if you listen to the speech Weiner gave, which was scripted for him by some moron public relations firm, the wife moron public relations firm, these kids go to college. These idiots. They get a degree in PR, crisis management, white-collar crisis management. They all read from the same playbook. It sounds like dreck, nothing garbage, rubbish. We worked hard on our marriage. We fixed our marriage. It took us a long time to get through it. Our marriage, like many others, has had its ups and its downs. It took a lot of work and a whole lot of therapy to get to a place where I could forgive Anthony. But it was not an easy choice in any way. But I made the decision that it was worth staying in this marriage. Do you believe a word of Huma's statement? She's worse than he is. She embarrassed herself. If she had any self-respect, she would have divorced him. So why is she still with him? Why did Hillary Clinton tell her to stay with Anthony Weiner? What does Anthony Weiner have on Huma? That he's blackmailed her with. You want to get down and dirty? You, you you think they sat there and played cards for the last two years? While he was... Let me stop right there. What do you think this guy was doing in his private bedroom? Obviously, they, they don't have a sex life. If the man was still doing what he did before, their marriage is based upon power, not upon love, not upon sex. It's based upon power. It's a power couple. And so they stay together only to maintain the power that they think they have. Well, let me tell you something. They have no power. Who is this guy? A disgraced schmuck from Queens. A putz. He's a stereotype of everything wrong. He is the, you know, if you say he's the Woody Allen of politics, what you're doing is you're building him up, not breaking him down. He is every negative stereotype of the Woody Allen stereotype. You want me to get into this on a level of ethnicity and race? I'm not going to do it because that's where we're going to go if this keeps up. He's an embarrassment not only to himself, but to his own people. And if he had any decency, he would have disappeared from the limelight for the rest of his life.